in this video you will learn the basics of JavaScript so we're going to work with something very simple and then we gradually go down so the first thing here we have here something really really basic we have here two buttons and if we click on this we will add automatically a value here and if we click on this we will remove the value that is in here so it's really really basic and let's check how this really works so first of all we have here and I'm using sublime as my text editor and you can use anything what you want and I just have some basics number one I just put in bootstrap here because bootstrap is considered one of the top things and it's very easy to design quickly something next well we have this script we can ignore this script for now we're not be we won't be using this for here and we can see here just some basic layout and design here and we have here our buttons our buttons contain currently the function add and the function remove that we have here so add and remove these are the functions that are included in here and the moment you select anything a new paragraph adds up with a value and this value is automatically being shown once you click that's basically what we're going to do and you can see here the formula so let's start with that and let's look at our basic thing here so we click here on add and once we click on add we see here the text clicked so what do we need to do let's start to create our own version here so to create one I will just start here below we're going to work with a very simple concept here number one is we're going to add in a button and this button we can give it a type and the type is of course a button and in here right now we'll just leave it plain I have no interest to give it any design yet so what we need to do is we need to add up a JavaScript function in here so basically what we're going to do is very simple the moment you click on it so we say on click equals the moment you click on this button we will fire up or it will trigger a function and that's the function name so we just say here new function let's say a text or add text function you can give it anything you want and very common what is uh, common practice is to use what we call here a uh, structure with small letters here and then after that for every word a large capitalized letter and once you did that let's close it the button and then we say in the button here very simple add text all right in here we have now our function or we have at least our button what you want to do is once you have the function or once you click on it you should echo out something or echo is a term for showing the value out so what do we going to what are we going to echo out or display in this case very simple we need to give an ID so when we click on this we have a trigger and that triggered this ID here that's exactly what we did here with the ID of demo so let's give this an ID name and ID for simplicity sakes I'll just use add text so that's our ID so when we click on this we trigger to add a text and this text will be shown or inserted in our paragraph with the ID name add text it's as simple as we can make it all right so let's start and create a new script here so we can almost follow the same function here so first of all what you say is a function and I want to just give this a tab and then we say add text function all right so what's very important is because this function is match up with the on click so make sure that this triggers this function once you do that curly brackets and in the curly brackets we're going to assign the value first of all we're going to say what value we want or what is the text we want so let's say here we're going to put in a variable and this variable can be n right now we're using n here and that's no problem because we the n's are confined within the function yes so we don't have any kind of duplicates but for now let's say we will give the variable at text variable yes so we have an add text let's search later on for an ID with add text and once we did that we say all right equal what is the text we're going to assign to this let's say hello you click on add text 
very simple so this is the text that we will be displaying the moment you select on the on click button once we did that then we have to say all right so we have this but where are we going to insert this well very simple we're going to insert this in add text so how to do that we will say document so search in the document then get element by ID meaning we're going to search for ID of course you can do differently you can even give this element ID a class then you say search element by class once you did that then of course specify here in single quotation or double the double quotation specify the class of the ID in our case so the ID is at text so let's paste it in here and once we search that then insert in the inner HTML or basically in that tag we insert this value here yes and we can do that by saying add this variable so let's save this and go back here and let's refresh all right so we have here our add text let's click on this you can see right now it's not working and let's double check here what's going on Are we missing here something? Uh, text and text. Get element by ID and document. Why is it not working? Hey, so we have to see why it's not working. Most likely, probably because the impact of add text and add text is probably too much. So I would say the variable will be add text too. Let's try again, and it's not working. So we're going to check what's going on here in the console. What do we see? We see on click function and text. And of course, the reason why we forgot our brackets here. Let's put it in here. Refresh, add text, and now it works perfectly. So you can see that this is very important to put in here, and this was not really an issue at all. Refresh, you can see this works. Of course, so the, what's another way to do it? For example, maybe you don't want this. What you can do here then is to just add up this information here. So we're just going to copy this. And instead of adding the variable, we just put in plain text. Although I don't recommend you to do this, but it is an option. Let's refresh. You can see this works as well. Beautiful. And if you say hello, no, instead of hello, let's say two, two, you click on add text so this is nice so in the next video we're going to focus on how to remove the text and we start to work on that